situation in Ebladar has become very grave for Russians. Yesterday, report came that after the arrival of elite reinforcements, Ukrainians launched massive counterattack and were successfully able to push Russians out of the Dachas. Now with help of Western self-propelled howitzers and MRs located in Yelizavitivka and Trudov, Ukrainians launched another attack and further pushed Russians to the previous lines. Currently fierce fighting is taking place in between Pavlivka and Mykolsky. Ukrainians are now also using aviation in this attack. Russia has responded this by bringing in reinforcements. Ukrainians has also brought some additional reinforcements in Bohoyavlanka. Some sources say that Russia suffered some casualty. If Russia wants to take Ubladar, it needs to change its tactics and use heights of surrounding areas to their advantage. You may have heard that Russia is deploying around 2,000 Wagners from Bakhmut to this front. This suggests that Russia will change its tactics and start attacking different surrounding areas and smaller units instead of large column attacks. First, they will have to take coal mine located here, which will give them height advantage to attack Ubladar. Second, they will have to attack back of Ubladar from there. This can cut the roads which are used to supply Ukrainian garrison and thus putting Ubladar in semi-encircled position. Third, they will have to attack from Pavlivka and try advancing in open fields to complete the encirclements. This is easy said then done because Ukrainians will defend mightily. But if Russia doesn't attack soon, then ground will become muddy and this offensive will be stalled as attacking through road in this situation is a big no. Currently, it seems like Ukrainians can see soul of Russian soldiers from that height. From this, I can say that Ebladar will not fall soon. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below.